Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte DEF CON Edition. I'm Corey Nockreiner, and today's story is about the Bloodhound pen testing tool. One of my favorite presentations at DEF CON last week was called The Six Degrees of Domain Admin, and it was given by a number of pen testers from the Veris Group. Now, if you've ever done pen testing, you know that the first computer you take control of often isn't a very privileged computer or user. You might not be on the main server or computer you want to get to. The ultimate goal would really be to gain domain administration credentials because then you could pretty much log on to any system and have full control. Now the good news is even if the first computer you actually exploit doesn't have a very privileged user, there's lots of tools out there that leverage flaws in Windows authentication or issues with it that can allow you to both elevate your privilege and move around to other computers in the Windows network. And attackers or pen testers often call this lateral movement or pivoting. In any case, there's certain flaws like something called pass the hash where if you can grab some of the local hashes on the computer you exploited, and maybe one of those hashes is for a user who has group access to other servers in the network, you can actually use that simple hash to authenticate and gain network control of those other computers too. On top of that, if you at least have local administrative privileges, you can use tools like Mimcats, and it will actually give you clear text passwords if anyone logged on to the computer. Anyways, pen testers have been using these Windows authentication tricks for a long time to do lateral movement. Once they own a computer, they can see which accounts are, are uh, accessible locally. They can use tools like PowerShell or more specifically PowerView to actually see what's available on a Windows network and then use those credentials to move to other systems. And if that other system has more users that connect to it and maybe other sessions that are currently logged on, they gain even more credentials and those credentials can allow them to hop to another computer and so on and so forth. Basically by hopping around they can eventually find more and more credentials, elevating their privilege, and eventually there will be a path, six degrees or so, to a domain administration account. Now, while pen testers have been doing this for a long time, traditionally this is a pretty manual process where it's really trial by error. You have to use tools to see what's near you, go to a random computer, see if you've gotten more credentials, then try to move to another computer. It really is quite random. So really the meat to this particular presentation was that these pen testers use something called graphing theory and one of the other tools they have called power view to kind of automate this process. Without going into all the technical detail, they actually have a power view command which you can use to actually gain data and start to do the network enumeration process to figure out all the different user accounts that are out there that you might have access to. But the big takeaway at this presentation was the researchers released a tool called Bloodhound that takes this data and actually visualizes it using graphing theory. And they actually have a great visual tool that can use this data to show you a Windows network and really show you the path you have from the computer you owned to other computers in the network using the accounts you have. So it's a really awesome tool that makes it really easy to show you the path you might take to take some unprivileged user and use some of the accounts and computers you have access to to get domain credentials. Anyways, I just thought it was great that they released this pen testing tool to the public. I'll be sure to have a link to it in their presentation uh, on the blog post associated with this video. And really, it kind of shows you the power of graphing theory and visualization. A lot of these hard manual tasks, when you apply things like graphing theory or visualization, it actually makes it a lot easier for humans to find the right answer. Now, besides being a good penetration testing or attack tool, this tool is also a great tool that shows you weaknesses in your network. You know, the benefit of this type of tool is if you have a big complex Active Directory where you have multiple uh, domain trees and things like that and tons and tons of users, it can be kind of hard to figure out all the interdependencies between users that are members of groups that might be members of another nested group, which all might increase the privilege of certain users. This visual tool can help show you in your network certain servers or groups or users that are kind of weak points that might offer opportunities for bad guys to elevate their privilege in this way. Anyways, I thought it was a great presentation. I'm probably not doing it justice, so be sure to check out their presentation. One last note before I finish up today, I'm about to go on a vacation, so I won't be releasing videos for anywhere from one and a half to two weeks. So just know that there won't be videos for a while, but I'll be sure to return in a couple weeks. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.